Hi, so I didn't like the reading that I did last night, so I'm going to try again. Just pulling a card for Thursday, see if there's any changes. Changes for Three of, three of Swords. Cool imagery about heartbreak, about um, to involve three people, or just three something, three days, three minutes, three letters, three degrees, three. It's not good. Let's see anything else? Page of Swords. Could be a person, child like, child person, child person, a younger person. Um, the pages are messengers. So the message is what? So is the Nine of Swords. All Swords, it's interesting. This is being up all night with your thoughts, not being able to sleep. Um, sometimes this is reading between the lines though, as you can see. Um, she says her bedspread is covered in uh, zodiac signs. So maybe transits are playing a role in things. Here is the Five of Swords where it's split, which is sort of like a cool victory. And the Eight of Swords being in your thoughts, being a lot in your head, needing to break free from what is surrounding you, uh, keeping you trapped, keeping you bound up. She could easily get loose from these things or just walk away. Take the blindfold off. And the bottom is the Queen of Cups. Very psychic, very intuitive person looking into the future a little bit. Um, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Or you're just embodying this energy and um, it's not someone that you know. So yeah, let's pull from the Pixie Lenormand deck to sum up. The last reading we got the Foss, which was the ring again. So we got that for the week ahead. Rider is on the bottom. Which I know this has to do with the Two of Cups. I think this is the page of. Eh, doesn't matter. I'm, I'm going to pull a different one, anyways. to say what else is there about three of swords and the page of swords and the nine of swords the moon and the book is on the bottom is 
this. Okay. 32. The moon's energy is positive, interestingly enough, since we have not such positive cards. Um, Keywords, creativity, emotions, fame, honor, recognition, reflection. Reminds me of Queen of Cups. Um, full meaning, think about how the moon has been honored and revered from culture to culture over, over the centuries. The romance of the moon and its dreamy qualities come through in this card. Recognition of achievements and creativity are reflected in this card of the moon and can also indicate a coming romance and the emotions that entail that entails. It can also represent creative endeavors. The moon calls ship a voyage of romance. Um, things like that. Love, a wooing, seduction of a romance, a poetic storybook type of love. Career, recognition at work, getting inspired to work more creatively. Characteristics, quality, a person with a pale complexion and a fuller body, timing, evening, or with the moon cycles. Image origins, the gentle moon of this card it comes from the High Priestess card. The dreamy town originated in the children's story of Pam, illustrated in the Green Sheath, some book that she did also. Number one, 1903. The serene water comes from the moon card. book has to say, if I can find it. Oh, there's a crossroads in here. Interesting. The book is positive, but it's also the Ten of Swords. Keywords, book, documents and paperwork, education, esoteric mysteries, knowledge, projects, research, secrets, study, writing. Full meaning of this card is the book holds the secrets. Think of the hidden mysteries that lie in books. This card is one of education, research, and gaining of understanding. It could also stand for a physical book, but usually project, projects and study are involved with this card. Love, a secret relationship, or hidden admirer. Career, learning new skills, sets at work, training or, or research. Characteristics, qualities, a secretive or shy person, a person who reads a lot or is very intellectual, timing, an under, undetermined amount of time, image origins, rich in symbolism, this card has structure of the higher fonts pillars hanging as a backdrop. Um, hiding the book's mystery is the veil from the high priestess offering up a message from, the, from Hermes. Messenger of the gods. Well, we did get messenger pages are messengers. So maybe this is where the message is coming from, Hermes. And second time High Priestess card is mentioned, and that is about secrets and hidden meanings and things like that. Um, Hermes, messenger of the gods, as noted by the Caduceus from the Two of Cups which is also in that other, the Rider card. And the second time that came up, the surface of the book lies, the surface the book lies on is from the Ten of Wands. The tome itself is constructed, or the tome itself is constructed of the table from the Magician, and the coverings come from the Mountains on the Lover's card. Right. So, magician, high priestess, magician also being Mercury, Hermes. Um, maybe there's just like a lot of information coming at you, and that's what's keeping you up at night and giving you a little heartache, maybe. But 
these cards are positive, so we'll see what that Three of Swords comes to mean as we go into Thursday. All right, hope this was helpful. Have a great day. Bye.